Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In today's video, we are going to solve a problem on a stack. So the problem statement for the today's video is reverse a string using a stack. So there are different methods with which we can reverse a given string, but we have to reverse this string using the stack data structure and we can use any number of push and pop statement. So, for example, if the input is India, which represents I and D I A, the output should be A I D N I. So, this is just reverse of the given string India. So, let's see how we can solve this problem. So, before going into the Java code, let's see what the logic we are going to follow to solve this problem. So, the logic is first create an empty stack in this diagram. You can see I have created an empty stack here and then one by one push all the character of the string to the stack. So for this we have an input string as India. Now you can see there are five characters into this letter. So we have to put all these letters into this stack one by one and then one by one pop all the characters from the stack and put them back to the string. The third step which we have to follow is to pop all the element from the stack and then put it into a string. That final string will be the reversed string. So let me illustrate this using this diagram. So now you can see that we have a given input a string as a India. So let me put this India into a character array. So this you can assume that this is the character array. Now, Let me mark the indexes of this character arrays. So this is the index 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. Similarly, this is also 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. And this is you can assume as an input character a string. This is our input and this will be our output character string which will be the reversed string. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So first we have to change this string or a given string India into a character array. So if we change this India string into a character array, we can fit this as a I N D I and a so you can see i have changed this string into a character array which contains all the element of this string now what we are saying is to create an empty stack so this is our empty stack and after that one by one push all the characters of the string to the stack so now let's push all the character of this string into the stack so if you push i here in the stack it will go and sit at this position, correct? After that, we will push N. After that, we will push D. And then we will push again I. And then again we will push A. So this is the second step. So you completed this step and then we completed the step two. After that, what we are saying is, one by one pop all characters from the stack and put them to the string. So let's start popping all the element from the stack. So if you're trying to pop the element from the stack, which character will be popped first? It is the A character, right? Because this is the character we have put into this stack at the last. So we'll take the A character from the stack and put at the zero index. After that, we are going to Take i from this stack and put in this array, right? Then we will put d here because if you do a pop operation, this is the sequence in which this elements will get popped out from the stack. So a will come here. Sorry, so n will come here and then i will come here. And now if you convert this character array into a string, what the output you are going to get? You will get A, I, 
d n and then i so isn't it this is the reversed string of the given input i and d i a was the given input string and we got the output as a a i d n i so basically we got the reverse string of the given input string so we got the desired output also by following these three steps now let's move into the code and see how these things are getting executed on eclipse so for the sake of the time i have already written these codes on this eclipse so now let me explain what we have explained as a logic in the powerpoint and then we can see how these things are getting executed so in this we have a main method which will have a input string as a india and then we are going to call a reverse method which is your own method which we have written so let's examine what the reverse method is doing in the reverse method we are going to check is the given input string is null or not or the given input string size is equal to zero or not so if these things are getting satisfied it means that the given input string has no character and we will return that string else we are going and creating an empty stack correct so this was the first thing which we have to do is create an empty stack the type of this stack will be the character array after that we are going to convert the given string into a character array right so if, if you see this diagram we have this india and we are going to convert this india into a character array right so we did this using this method so a string dot char array is going to convert your given input string into a character array and after that we are going to push all the element of this character array on the stack so we are going to use a for loop and then push each element from this character array on the stack so this is the second step one by one push all the characters of the string to the stack after that we are going to pop all the element from the character after that we are going to pop all the element from the stack and create a character array so you see here we are using a while loop and we are keep on popping the elements from the stack till the stack is not empty right so if the stack is not empty we are going and trying to pick all the element from the stack and fill this character array so you see this particular while loop is doing that thing if the stack is not empty take all the elements from that stack and create a character array here once the character array is created once this output array is created we are going to convert that character array into a string so this will do the same thing so once we create that string we are going to return that string as a reverse string so if you are going to run this program see what the output we are going to get if you are running it here see before reversing the string the string value was india and after reversing the string the string value is a i t n i so let's run this program into the debug mode and see this how these things are getting executed so let's run this program in debug mode see here we have passed that india as an input string to this method now let's see how these things are getting executed as the string is not null and the string is also not equals to the double quotes or basically an empty string we will return that string but it contains india as a string so we are passing this if condition we are creating a stack array here which is basically an empty stack array after that we are going to push all the element of this character array into this stack right so first we converted that string into a character array so you see here it's containing all the elements as a character in this array right so this is basically a character array we are putting all this i n d i a into the stack and we are using a for loop for the same thing so if i put it here see here see how these things are getting filled into this stack i in dia is got filled into that stack right now after that till the stack is not empty we are popping out that element and creating a character array here again so see here in the ch check the ch value here 
we are going to overwrite it. So check the ch value here. At this point of time, its value is a n d i a. Basically, we are going and overwriting that indexes. See how these things are getting executed. A i, it converted, right? Now see, it becomes n and it becomes a. So in this example, we have overwritten this character array again. What you can do if you want to create a new character array, you can do that also. So for saving the memory, we can go in this way. And if you don't have any memory constraint, we can create a new character array also. And then you can fill that character array. So this is the program with which you can reverse a string using a stack data structure. So uh, if you have any doubt on this video, please write it in comment section. I will try to answer it. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.